Hi there. Thanks for coming to art. So we took a little break, but we're heading back to ancient Egypt. And today we're going to do a project that goes along with your study of mummification. So when they mummified the body, what did they do with all those organs? Well, they took them out to dry out the body and they didn't just throw them away. They put them in something called canopic jars. And I learned in my, doing my research that each body had four canopic jars to hold each of the individual organs. So stay tuned. I'll tell you a little bit more and you'll design one of your own. So this, for this project, you're going to need the following. Your sketchbook or a piece of white paper, a smaller piece of construction paper. I chose black and it's about six inches by six inches. You'll need your Sharpie marker, a planning pencil, some colored pencils, and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So it turns out that four canopic jars were decorated with the sons of Horus. Um, these were the gods. The go there was one god that looked like a baboon, and he protected the lungs. One that looked like a human face protected the liver. The one with the jackal head like this protected the stomach. And the one with the falcon head protected the intestines. So you get to decide, do you want to do the falcon head, the jackal, the human face, or the one that looks like the baboon? I chose two. I did one with for a falcon and one with the jackal head. I, what I did is I lightly sketched them out with pencil first. But to get my canopic jar symmetrical on both sides, here's what I did. I took this smaller piece of paper. I picked a piece that would be about fill up that halfway. I folded it in half and then I sketched half a jar. The jar was made to look almost like the shoulders and a body, like you would see in the mummy case. So I just go across here, curve it around, and bring it down. And I chose to put a little curve on the bottom. So when I cut this out, it will give me, hopefully, a symmetrical shape that I can trace around. Let's see. So I gotta hold it still when I cut. Okay, so, whoops, my sh got a little bump there that I don't want. So I'll take care of that bump. And that makes a pretty good shape. I think I want it a little bit skinnier, so I just go back and adjust. Take a little bit off of that. Now, I chose black because if I wanted to, instead of drawing the bottom of my canopic jar, I might just glue this black on and have a dramatic black one. You decide. So to do this, you're going to take your planning pencil, trace around your jar. I am actually going to do that with my marker so you can see it. Trace around my jar. Okay. Now, from then on, what I need to do is look at an image so that I know what I want to draw. I chose here to do um, that the falcon head, and I looked at the image and figured out shapes. Because I wanted to show the beak, I didn't want to show it head on. So I did the same thing with the jackal here. I showed it from the side. So I'm going to just in fast forward, I'm going to trace this out so you can see how it's done. So I did a falcon and now I want to do a jackal. Once again, I'm going to tip it a little bit to the side so you can see his nose. If I tried to do it straight on, it would be very difficult to draw. So I am just looking at the shapes from a photograph or a line drawing that you guys have lots of in your room. Put those long jackal ears. I'm going to do that one of those Egyptian eyes, the big Egyptian eye, with the black line here. 
and a big heavy eyebrow and a nice black outline and I'm going to put a striped headdress on my jackal. Okay. The front of the canopic jar was often decorated with hieroglyphics so I'm going to put that line in and I can either draw hieroglyphics here or I will loan you my sets of hieroglyphic stamps that you can use when you bring it into school. Okay, so once you have your drawing done, it's time to color it. You can take out your colored pencils and you'll want to be pressing down hard to get nice rich color. You can add a little bit of gold to your drawing. I have some wonderful gold tempera paint that you can add. There's a nice blue, but if I want that wonderful turquoise, all I have to do is add some green on top. So take your time to do a nice job. Choose one of the four gods to guard your intestines. And when you want to, you can bring it back into school, add a little gold, some hieroglyphic stamps, and when you're all done, don't forget to send me a picture of your work. I can't wait so to I see it. So I did my drawing in pencil, then went back and gave it a really bold black outline. Make sure you do that to make it dramatic. I added a little color, pressing down really hard to make it nice and rich. And now, down below, I did a ruler, and I am going to print some hieroglyphic patterns. And I have this set at school that you can use. And the way you do it is you take a black stamp pad, you tap these on, and press down. Now, uh, there's a booklet inside this set, so you can actually spell something out. But I'm just going to make a nice pattern. If you don't have the set, or don't want to use the set, you could draw your own hieroglyphics, or you could simply leave your um, canopic jar plain without an extra decoration. It's up to you to decide. There's also another option you can choose. Remember this black page that we outlined? I thought that was so dramatic looking with that. I put some decorations on it, some hieroglyphics in silver, which you could do, and glue that on. So you can leave it just like this, or if you'd like, you can add a touch of gold. I have some gold metallic paint here that you can paint on carefully because you don't want to cover up your nice color. You may leave it the head of the falcon white, or you might choose to color that in gold as well. So there are lots of options. What you want to do is take your time to do a really nice drawing of the god that you want. To do a good job in your canopic jar. And when you're done, if we cut these out, we can make a display of all our canopic jars together. So have fun, do a great job, and don't forget to share your work with all of us.